everyone and welcome to my review of the royalty mod by Lazy Nymph. I do not know if I'm saying the username right, but I know his name is Sebastian. So his name is Sebastian and everything that you guys need to know will be in this video or in the description of the video. So I'll just kind of go through everything with you guys. I actually was not planning on doing this video today or before the release date because this mod actually comes out on October 11th, 2019, if you guys are seeing this years later. But I just thought I would do this because I was planning on posting the second episode of the Royal Family season two on Wednesday, but I wanted to make sure that I had this done because I thought that this could be very useful in our gameplay because it's like the actual let's play of the Royal Family series. So I am just going to go over this royalty mod because I have early access to it because I am a patron to, I'm just gonna say Sebastian, sorry Sebastian, I don't quite know how to say your username, but I will put it right here so people can see how it's spelled and the link to everything is in the description below so you guys can see that too so I am just going to do like an overview of this we're gonna try it on our sims and see how it goes I'm gonna show you the some of the items that come with it too and also put the link to like the trailer so you guys can see everything in the description and then on October 11th I will have the link to download the mod in the description below and then I will also have the link to his patreon so if you want to become it's a tier 2 patron to get early access so if you just can't wait till October 11th then you guys can download it from his Patreon. So I will put that link in the description below as well. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the royalty mod. Okay, so Seb, he included a lot of really cool information basically about the mod. So the mod is designed to enhance the gameplay of simmers who enjoy creating and playing generations of the royal families. His ultimate goal is to get simmers to enjoy investing their time into playing and keeping up generations and sims again instead of making something that is too game changing to keep your in your mods folder. So I'm not going to read through all of this, but basically you guys can, can read it too because all this information is on his Tumblr page. So you guys can go ahead and check that out in the, uh, the link is in the description description below. So gameplay, so royalty. So once you've created and founded your monarch and create a sim, which we already have all of our monarchs, so we'll be able to do that. Um, then you can give them the monarch trait. So it is actually a trait. So I'll be reading this and like going through it. So I like don't forget anything. So this will give you guys a quick overview. Hopefully this video won't be too long. This mod has so much stuff in it and it's really cool. And I'm so excited to use this. So it has to be a trait. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on cast full edit mode. All right, one sec. Okay, so I just turned on the cheat so I could change his his traits and everything. So yeah, if you guys already have a monarch already made, you need to turn on your testing cheats on. If you don't know anything about Sims 4 cheats, go look it up on the website because it is a little bit complicated. Just type in Sims 4 cheats and they'll give you like all the codes. But you have to do that and then you have to type in cast.fulleditmode. So that means you can change the traits. It does kind of stink that you have to like delete one of the traits, but I mean like it's worth it for royalty, you guys. We know what he's like. I have the character descriptions of all of my characters on my Tumblr. I'll put that in the link in the description below as well. If you're interested, if you're seeing this for the first time, I have a royal family series in case you're lost. So you guys can check that out on my channel. But let's see, which one do I want to delete? He's family oriented, he's self-assured, and he's a perfectionist. I feel like it's kind of a given that he's family oriented or do I want to just, uh, just uh, maybe I'll just delete the perfectionist trait because I feel like now that he's gotten like a little bit older and he has had six kids, one of them passed away, but now he has five kids. It's kind of hard to be a perfectionist when you have that many kids. So we'll just get rid of that. So it's under lifestyle is the monarch trait. So you have to click on this little boat thing that says lifestyle. And then the monarch trait is this one. It says monarch King Henry the fourth is a, is the current reigning leader of the land. He is, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I can't read. He has thousands of subjects to carefully rule over. Will he go down in history as a benevolent and beloved monarch or as a feared iron-fisted ruler? I think we all know King Henry IV is very loved by his people. Actually, most of our monarchs are loved by their people. Maybe I should change it up to make it a little bit more interesting. But so we have given him the monarch trait. I think I'm just going to give the monarch trait to the Sims that are royal by blood and not royal by marriage. We all know that like Queen of Angela so she's royal by marriage so she t I guess technically wouldn't get the monarch trait although she does have a say in in things but maybe if it becomes too difficult and if I want the other like the spouses who are not monarchs to have more say in things 
then they can do that. Like, for example, Queen Nea, she is royal by blood, so her husband, Prince Consort Philip, he would not have the monarch trait. So, yeah, maybe maybe I'll change that later, but for now, we'll just keep this. So, that's pretty much it in Create a Sim. I'll come back and show you guys some of the items. I think there's, like, one... I oh, gosh, I have to change their name. Yeah, I have this, this mod that lets you have longer names, and you can only make their names longer by typing in rename in the cheats bar and live mode, not in create a sim. In create a sim, you have to change their names back to the short version of it. So that does kind of stink with that mod. But if you're interested in the longer names mod, I'll put that in the description below as well. Because I put like princess and like as their title in front of everything. And I think I am still going to continue to do that in this, even though I have the monarch trait. We'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. We'll explore some more of this. Okay, so we are at the Windenburg Palace. So basically now he gets a little title thing that says monarch also guys it is highly highly recommended to have the get famous pack to use this mod because he uses a lot of the celebrity system in this mod so you guys should probably get get famous if you don't have it already it is very very helpful and just makes it a little bit more realistic when you're playing with the mod so yeah he gets something that says like monarch above his head so you can actually change this so there's a whole FAQ page on Seb's Tumblr that has like how to do things. So I'm reading from this too. I'm also just reading from the gameplay page from now. But it says if you go under actions and then monarch titles. So you can change it, which is really cool. So King Henry, he is a king. So we're going to change his title to king. Did that change his title to king? Oh, okay. It just takes a second. So just give it a chance to load. It'll change his title to king or whatever you want. So as you guys can see, so we will go back here. So if you go to monarch title, so they have monarch. So they have a ton of em emperor. Is that how you spell emperor? Emperor. Oh no, it's spelled right. Okay. It was just that one part. That was just a, just a slight typo, but it shows up right when you hover above his name. So that's totally fine. So let's go back to king. So yeah, you can also choose like Kaiser, emperor. So yeah, you can choose the female version of the names as well. He is Pharaoh, Sultan. It doesn't look like Sultana is here, or you can just choose none. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, so you guys have a few different choices, but King Henry, he is a king, so we will change him. Oh, yeah, it just takes a second, so we'll change him to king. So another thing that it says here is that your sim can either be adored or despised based on your monarch's interactions with the world. They have the chance to become either a beloved ruler or a despised tyrant. Sims around them will either love being around them or absolutely hate it. Don't don't raise those taxes too high. So that's another thing you can do is raise taxes. So there's a little part here about illegitimate children. So if you have if you have illegitimate children or illegitimate royals, which gives them the slight possibility of claiming the throne one day, but perhaps your monarch wants a little more in life for their illegitimate children, they have the choice of legitim legitim legitimate <laughs> legitimizing oh my gosh legitimizing them into a crown royal <laughs> so you do have that option if you decide to go that route i don't think i've done that with any of our illegitimate children yet but you can if you would like to so that just allows a little bit more fun and more room which is really cool so there's also an heir system so every monarch needs an heir it's how the family keeps the throne your monarch can name any one of the crown royals or their royal partner as heir so upon the monarch's death the crown will be automatically passed down so that is super cool so we know if you have seen our series that Princess Amira is the heir to the throne. So we are going to have him name her heir. So it looks like what you can do. So you have to go to, I guess you go to title. Oh, okay. Guys, so you can, oh, you can give a noble title. Oh my gosh, that's cool. We're going to take a look at what the noble titles are later too, because I want to see if there's all of the ones that I use in the game already. So we can recognize them as the crowned royal. So I guess that is what makes them the heir. So yeah, is that what it says? Okay, so I think I have to recognize her as a crown royal first. Okay, so King Henry is now recognizing Amira as the crown royal. So does that give her the, yep, okay, so that gives her the little thingy at the top. Discuss foreign affair, oh, that's cool. Okay, so there's a bunch of little, okay. So now as the crown royal, now, oh, banish from royal family, well, that's cool. Okay, recognize as crown royal. So announce as heir, so Mira is 
now the heir, so then he actually has to, I guess, name all of his other children as a crown royal too. So another thing is a tax system, but I think I actually have to name a royal advisor to do the additional interactions. So I, I have no idea who the royal advisor should be. I think for now, I was kind of thinking of making it Marky Marshall because he is married to King Henry's sister, Anna. So I'm going to actually just like teleport him here. So I, uh, it's probably, and Marky Marshall, he is an elder. So I don't know if he would be the advisor for very long, but I think for now, for like the purposes of this video, I'm going to just make him the royal advisor so we can see what he does. We might end up finding a different royal advisor later. And then there's other titles we might have to like rearrange too. So that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so Marky Marshall is here. So we want to go to titles and we want him to designate Marky Marshall as an advisor. Okay, so things he can do. So monarchy, advisor, allow Sunday trading. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can have Sunday markets. Oh, I think I heard about that. Okay, so add the Sunday markets. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, it's not Sunday in this video yet. Oh, that would take so long to turn up that way you got oh I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that in this video unfortunately so now he gets the trusted advisor above his thing so that's really cool okay so order to a tax raise or lower the taxes I'm just curious I want to see what happens if we lower it because I don't think King Henry wait why did that lower their friendship oh does that actually do anything? You can perform a medieval dance and then order to tax raise. That increases their relationship. Oh no, but his reputation just got lost. Oh shoot. Okay, now he just has a great reputation. Okay, let me lower the taxes again. And then you can also have your sim abdicate so you can give up the throne too. So then that would make your heir the next monarch. Okay, so another thing you can do is name a noble. So this is his sister. This is Marchioness Anna. I know it doesn't make sense because her husband is now the royal advisor but we're going to make her the marchioness because that's what she is so give a noble title so that is an option under action so he's going to give her a noble title and then i'll see if we can change her title okay so king henry has just named his sister uh noble so now it says nobility above her name so we are going to go to actions Oh, okay, 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 so I wonder if I have to play from her point of view to be able to see that. I'm just going to, obviously his wife is not a noble, but I'm going to see if we give Queen Ava the noble title, like if we can change it from her view, like if we're playing from her, because maybe I just have to do that. Oh, give title of royal partner. Now that's cool. Okay, so I obviously would be doing that, but just for this purpose, I'm going to give her the title of a noble just to see if I can change it. Okay, so Queen Ava now has the nobility title above her name. So we're going to go to actions, nobility titles. Ah, okay. So you do have to play from their point of view. And there is no Marchioness or Marquis on here. Oh, guys. Okay, so we have Duke and Duchess, Earl, Lord, Lady, Knight, Dame. So it doesn't look like I have very many options. Uh, there's no like Countess or anything like that. So that is a little bit of a downside. So I'm going to have to decide if I want to change our system. I don't know if I will. I might just keep nobility above their name and keep the titles that I already have have because I like the titles I already have and I've been playing with them for like many many sims generations I can at least do like lord and lady because I have like a ton of those so that's the thing the only thing is I have to go in and play from all of them to be able to change all that so I will definitely have to do that that will take a long time because I have so many sims you guys in this game so we will go ahead and worry about that a little bit later I think I am going to keep the titles that I already have but I would just keep it as nobility but now I am going to have King Henry named her the royal partner so we're going oh no where did it go so give title of royal partner okay so now it says royal partner above Queen Evangeline's name so that is good so I, I don't know like what exactly what interactions they can do they can discuss foreign affairs so not really anything different yeah just like the title stuff so that is cool though that you can name like a royal partner and stuff okay so another thing you can do is have a royal servant so I picked a random sim this is actually Diego award he's some people who have seen my first season of the royal family know who he is so i'm going to ha oh okay so i have to do a friendly introduction first or a polite introduction so we do have a butler but i couldn't find the 
the butler at the moment. So for now, I want to just see what this royal servant option does. So let's go ahead to monarchy and then titles. So designate as royal servant. And then you can also designate a jester and designate a royal nanny. So that is really cool. I don't know for like the nanny and like the servant, like if they live on the lot or like how exactly that works. So now he has the title of royal servant. So persuade to make donation is one of the interactions. Oh, title, no, no, no. Okay, actions and then, oh wait, can I not do anything else? Okay, so all you can really do, so disallow Sunday training, or trading, titles, fire, give noble title, recognize as crown or royal, or recognize as illegitimate royal. So I don't know if they actually like stay on the lots. It says servants, it says as many as necessary. So I don't know if they do anything or if they like clean or anything like that. So we would have to see, maybe in the series I can designate a few royal servants. I might just name the butler a royal servant because I mean, technically he is one. So we'll see kind of like how, what they do exactly. But you can also have royal nannies, court wizards, and gestures, all jobs given to the Sims by the monarch. So those are a few different things. Okay, so I do want to move on because I do need to film another video soon and I have to go soon. So since I can't get to Sunday markets in this video, I will do them in one of the episodes of the royal family so you guys can see that. Okay, so I do want to show you some of the custom content that comes with this pack. So there are quite a few build items that come. Okay, so this comes, oh, guys, it comes with thrones. Oh my God. Okay, so I am very, have been extremely limited to thrones. So this is really, really cool. Okay, so, oh, they have a knight's chair. So this is very medieval. I don't really play like medieval style, so I probably wouldn't use that, but that's one of the options. That's the only color option comes with. That is so, so cool. So it comes with these thrones too, which is really interesting. I might actually use one of those. This also comes with music boxes too. So that's really cool. I wonder if you can interact with them. So it comes with, oh my god, this is cool. So it comes with a ton of music boxes. It comes with a cask. So this, oh, this is just decoration, but this is really cool. So this is definitely more medieval. So I don't think you can actually use this, but these are the decor stock. So this is from like The Sims 3 Medieval, if you guys have ever played that. It comes with other decoration items as well, like a coin sack. It has a gold bar. And then this also comes with a few different floor options. So you have a pavilion floor so these are these seem very medieval too and then a stone floor and there should be a stone floor too I don't know why that didn't come over from the folder there should be a there should be like three flooring I don't know why yeah I don't know why that didn't work but yeah anyway okay so these are all the items so we're going to go ahead I, I don't want to keep that flooring so we're just going to do that just because it seems a little bit more medieval style to me and we're not really oh cool oh my god guys you can use the music boxes that's so cool oh my gosh you guys these act as a stereo now that is cool okay and then for these you can just view them but oh my gosh you guys the music boxes add, act as a stereo and there's so many of them too so this is really really cool so that is awesome you have your thrones too so we could use these different thrones if we wanted to i do like the gold though i will have to say i will probably use these for some of the other royal families but oh my gosh this is so cool so there is one create a sim item that are called Rococo shoes. <laughs> Isn't that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so they're actually women's shoes. So that's really cool, you guys. So you guys can see the shoes. It comes in different colors. Those are really cool. So these are definitely, obviously, more from the time period that these are from. So you guys can use them if you want. I don't know if I'm going to use the custom content just because most of it is for medieval, like a medieval time period, and I just don't really play in that time period. And I do want to limit how much custom content is in my mods folder. I definitely want to keep the music boxes because I think that is so so cool so yeah that's I just wanted to show you that real quick and then I just want to show you guys one more thing he put in a dance a dance so it's just a spliced together animation from the sims medieval it's far from perfect but I included it as an option for those who would prefer less modern dancing it can be used as an interaction between sims or by type typing in a medieval dance x into pose player so I will just go ahead and look at that real quick after I do after I just show you guys this so we he have a royal banquet as an option for an event so you need to do banquet guest, a banquet bartender, a banquet servant, royal host, and a banquet chef. 
So that's really, really cool. So I'm actually going to save this for the next episode of the Royal Family. So if you're curious about this event specifically, you can check out episode or season two, episode two of my Royal Family series. I am going to be having a big royal banquet for King Henry IV because it will be his birthday and we're inviting everyone, all of the monarchs. So it'll be a lot of fun. So I will do that in the next episode of the Royal Family. I'm sure it'll kind of be like a dinner party, I'm assuming. So it'll just be a lot of fun and I'm really excited. So the last thing I do is want to do that pose player animation that he has. Okay, they said I can go to pose by name and then type in A underscore, oh wait, I, I don't know if it matters if it's lowercase, but A underscore medieval underscore dance. Oh, will it show? No, I have to do underscore X. So I don't know if that's working. Uh, she just seems to be looking to her side. So I don't know, it could just be a glitch. I don't know if it'll change or maybe I have to play music or something. But honestly, this doesn't really bother me. I am fine with them just regular dancing. So guys, I think that's all we're going to do for the royalty pack. So overall, I think this is great. I know that Seb is open to suggestions for nobility titles and like adding more. So Seb, if you could add Marna, or not Monarch, duh. If you could add Marquis and Marchionist and and Countess and I think I don't remember if Baron and Baroness were on there but if you guys if you could add that that would be so so great and I think for now I'll just keep nobility because it's going to be such a pain to actually like go into all of those sims and add them as Lord and Lady plus I put Lord and Lady and their title anyway in front of their names and I think I'm still going to keep doing that just because it's it's just easier for me and it's what I'm used to I know it's going to say their noble titles above their name anyway but other than that I know there was just like a few things but I I mean, even Seb said that like the dancing animation isn't perfect. So I totally understand. I know that was really difficult. He just did it because a lot of people had asked him to, but I totally give this mod a five out of five stars because it is really cool. And I think it'll add a lot to gameplay. I think you guys will enjoy it a lot too. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this was helpful. So you guys could just get a little sneak peek. Again, it is early access for patrons and I put the link to Seb's Patreon and the link in the, the link to that in the description below. And the actual mod will be out on October 11th. So you can go ahead and download that and I'll be sure to put that link in the description below as well If you enjoyed this give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications I have not been able to respond to as many comments as usual just because there have been so many this past week I'm going to keep trying to respond But if you turn on your notifications, I am really good at responding to comments for like the first hour of a video being posted So make sure you do that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers and my past subscribers I love you all you guys are so great and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.